loved going to school with her mommy. Her mommy was a teacher and Mala wanted to be a teacher too when she grew up, just like her mommy. Mala worked hard and attended many classes for numerous years to learn how to be a teacher. After years of hard work and learning, Mala's big dream came true. She became a teacher. At her grand graduation party, her mommy cried tears of joy because she was so proud of Mala. Mala got a job teaching at a school in New Delhi, the capital of India. Every morning, she dressed up in colorful saris and went to school to teach her students about math, English and history. Mala's life was good. She adored her teaching job and enjoyed traveling to different countries to attend teacher conferences. At one of these meetings, she met a boy named Neil. They liked a lot of similar things. After the meeting, they stayed friends and talked a lot. A few years later, Neil had some big news. He was going to the United States for a new job. And guess what? He also asked if Mala would like to marry him. Mala felt a mix of emotions. Joy for marrying someone she cared about deeply. But also sadness because it meant leaving her family and country behind to start anew in a foreign land. It was hard to say goodbye to everything familiar and embrace the unknown. Tears welled up in her eyes and she confided her feelings to her mom. Her mom hugged her tight and said, You are brave, Mala. You'll have so much fun discovering new things in your new home. Maybe even new ways to teach. So after her special wedding with Neil, Mala Subramaniam flew off to America with her husband. Everything seemed strange in this new place called California. The food tasted different, the cars looked different, and even the houses were unlike any she'd seen before. Even the way people did their laundry was weird to Mala. She had to stop wearing her beautiful saris because people would stare at her funny if she did. It was hard to talk to her mom too because when it was morning in California, it was nighttime in India. Mala felt lonely and missed her mom and her own life back in New Delhi. One day, Mala's mom had a brilliant idea. She suggested that Mala go back to school to learn more about teaching. Mala loved the idea. She wondered why she hadn't thought of it herself. Mala decided to go to community college to learn more about teaching. When she started her classes, she learned that teaching in America was quite different from what she was used to back in India. But she was still excited and couldn't wait to attend class every day. Mala worked hard and did great in her classes. She even got a special certificate called a teaching credential. Mala wanted to test the waters, so she became a substitute teacher at a school. On her first day, a kid asked if they could call her Miss S. Mala felt a little sad being called just one letter. She also noticed that as a substitute, she wasn't part of class pictures or fun events like pajama day. Instead of feeling discouraged, she decided to make a change. Mala got a permanent job at the school as a teacher and suggested some ideas to include school substitutes. 
She put up pictures of all the substitutes with their full names in the classroom and called them helper teachers. Mala proposed the idea of a substitute appreciation day to recognize their hard work, ensuring they felt valued. She also ensured they were included in school lunches and featured in the yearbooks. One day, Mala overheard a little girl expressing her dream of becoming a substitute teacher. Tears of joy filled her eyes as she realized that she had helped inspire someone to be a helper teacher. She knew then that she had made a big difference, not just for herself, but for lots of other substitute teachers too. The End for taking the time to listen to my story. I feel grateful. This story delves into the depths of my life's journey, ignited by real experiences. Over two decades ago, I left the bustling streets of New Delhi behind to embrace the sun-kissed shores of California. Teaching was in my immediate path upon arrival. However, as life unfolded, I found myself drawn towards this noble profession. Behind the classroom doors, as a substitute teacher, I have encountered women navigating through adversity with unwavering strength. One woman, battling health challenges, seeks solace in the flexibility of substitute teaching. Another, a mother to a child with special needs, finds refuge in the accommodating nature of the profession. Their stories echo universal truth. Many women, out of necessity, find themselves in the nurturing embrace of substitute teaching roles. Another reason why I wrote this story was because the very fabric of these heart-centered professions, nursing, housekeeping, teaching, is woven with threads of undervaluation and underpayment. It's a sobering reflection of societal norms, where women's contribution often go unrecognized and unrewarded. Through this narrative, I aim to spark appreciation of these unsung heroes. Let us refuse to overlook the silent champions of who shape futures and touch our children's heart with boundless compassion. Thank you.